Load sharing connects the outputs of two or more power supplies together to power a load. Usually there are more modules with more total power capability than required by a system. The amount of redundancy is dictated by system reliability goals. If a power supply module fails, the remaining modules continue supplying power to the system. The user can remove failed modules and install a replacements without powering down the system. Load sharing is often a requirement for large computer system power supplies where fault tolerance and high system reliability is a necessity. Ideally, all the modules should share the load equally. By operating at reduced workload, I'm assuming redundant capacity, the reliability of the power modules will be increased. Slight differences in component values and wiring resistances cause the output voltage at some modules to be slightly higher than others. Even if the voltage imbalance is only millivolts, the result is that some modules hog the load while others are lightly loaded. The heavily loaded modules run hotter and will probably fail earlier. The remainders carry more of a load and you can start creating a domino effect. A slow analog or digital communications link passes information among the modules to force the output voltages to a common value to enforce load sharing. The control loop is slow, working on a thermal time constant basis.